Creating and editing shapes is essential in Illustrator. In this section, you'll learn how to draw and edit simple shapes. To follow along, open this file from the practice files you downloaded. And once your document is open, to make sure you can see all of the artwork, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. Now to start, you'll select a shape. So select the selection tool in the tools panel on the left, and then click in this white triangle shape to select it. You'll learn how to draw a few types of simple shapes like this triangle, and then by the end, you'll be able to add shapes to create the robot on the right. Now you should see a box around the triangle. This is called the bounding box. This is important for editing shapes, and it should be on by default. If you don't see a bounding box, choose View, Show Bounding Box. If you see a Hide Bounding Box in the View menu, you're all set. Now you'll draw your first shape, a rectangle. In the Tools panel on the left, click to select the Rectangle tool. Bring the pointer out into the document window and move it around. As you move it, you might see these magenta lines. These are smart guides and they help you align content. If you don't see them, choose View, Smart Guides to turn them on. Now starting on the dashed line here, press and drag to create a rectangle. As you draw with the shape tool with those smart guides on, you'll see a small gray label appear that gives you measurements like width and height. This shows the size of the shape you're creating. Release the mouse button to create a rectangle. Now most of the shapes you draw are called live shapes, which means you can resize and move them without switching tools. For instance, to resize this shape you just drew, move the pointer over one of the corners of the rectangle, and when the pointer changes, click and drag to reshape it, making it about the size of the dotted line behind it. As you drag, watch for this diagonal magenta guide. This indicates that it's a perfect square. When you see it, release the mouse button to make the rectangle a square. You can also press the shift key while dragging to make a square. Now notice the small widgets in each corner of this shape. Dragging any of these with the shape selected will let you create rounded corners. So drag any one of these corner widgets toward the center of the shape just a little to round the corners. You'll actually find that most of the shapes you draw will have options like these corner widgets. Let's try creating another shape. To see other shape tools, press and hold on the rectangle tool in the tools panel on the left to show the shape menu. Then select the polygon tool. Starting roughly in the center of this dotted triangle, click and drag to make a shape. Shapes you create with this tool are drawn from the center. When the shape is about this size, press and hold the shift key to straighten it. Release the mouse button and then the shift key. Polygons also have shape options like rectangles. For instance, this side widget controls the number of sides on a polygon. So drag this side widget up until the shape has three sides. To move a shape with a drawing tool selected, you can drag it from this little circle in the center and position it where you need. Now the last type of shape you'll create is a circle. So press and hold on the polygon tool in the tools panel and select the ellipse tool. Down here, drag to create a circle. And as you drag, watch for these hinting crosshairs which mean a perfect circle. Release the mouse button when you see them and the circle is roughly the size you see here. Lastly, you'll create this triangle shape by copying and pasting the triangle you already drew. So select the selection tool in the tools panel on the left and click the triangle you created. To copy it, choose Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste. Drag the new triangle down here. Now to resize this triangle, drag the point on the right side to the left so that it's narrower first. Then drag the top point down to make it a little bit shorter. Finally, drag the shape onto these dotted guides. Now that you have some experience with shapes in Illustrator, you can continue to explore by creating the shapes for this robot, which consists of rectangles, circles, and polygons. The dotted guides will help you to see which shapes to create where. These donut shapes are actually composed of two circles, a smaller circle on top of a larger circle. The smaller circle has a red fill color. You'll learn about changing the color of shapes in the video on changing the color of artwork.